Hello, math rock stars and rock star parents. Welcome to another day of Number Corner with Miss and Ferreira. Before we get started today, we need to dance it out. So stand up, spread apart, and let's shake some of that energy out. If I had the chance, I'd ask a woman to dance and not be dancing with myself. I'm dancing with myself. I'm dancing with myself. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed dancing with yourself. All right, let's take a look at our April calendar here. We have, uh, we did yesterday's was Monday, April the 6th, 2020. So now we are up to Tuesday. Now I showed you Tuesday's card already. That way you had the chance to play around with the paper cutout or play around with the geo board to see if it was symmetrical and also to see how many ways you can fold it into equal parts. So today is Tuesday, April the 7th, 2020. And on our card, we have here a rectangle, but I asked you to try to guess and figure out the new name of the shape that I taught you for this. So let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. There are four sides to this shape, and we learned before that the shape with four sides is called a quadrilateral. So I'm going to type that in for today. Today is 4-7, the four stands for the month of April, January, February, March, April. It's the fourth month. And for the figure, we have a quadrilateral. Uh oh, I spelled it wrong. Sorry, guys. Okay, and now we have to see how many ways we can fold it into equal parts. I folded mine already. I have my blank one here. Okay, you can fold it in half like that, but then you can fold it in half. Sorry guys, we can fold it in half again. And then when you open it up, it's in four equal parts. One, two, three, four. And here I have it outlined for you. Since this is one piece out of four pieces, we put a one, and then the line and then a four. One over four is one fourth. One piece out of four pieces. Another way you can fold it, fold it in half. You see how I did that? Let me do that again for you. Fold it in half, but then fold it in half again going in the same direction. And then when you open it up, it will look like this, broken up into four equal parts. One, two, three, four. And another way, it's very similar to that, instead of going down like that, you can go sideways with it, and it can be broken up into fourths again. One, two, three, four. This is one fourth, one piece out of the four. So here, I'm not going to check off zero because we were able to fold it in equal parts. I'm not going to check off exactly two because we were actually able to fold it into more than two equal parts. So I'm going to put our check mark in this column here, at least four equal parts, and I'm going to write one fourth here. So was it symmetrical? Well, let's look at our geo board. That will give us an, a better view of it. I'm going to use the pencil here. Let me move that over. And I'm going to draw a line going straight down the middle. And as you can see, it is symmetrical. The left side matches the right side. It is completely symmetrical. It's a mirror image. We can count the pegs. One, two pegs at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five along the side. This side has the same amount. One, two pegs at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. You can also fold it and split it the other way to make it show that it is symmetrical. Going straight across 
the top part is symmetrical with the bottom. So yes, it is symmetrical. I'm gonna go back to our calendar observation here and I'm gonna write, let's make sure it's in the right color for us. I'm gonna write, yes, it is symmetrical. And I, if you notice here from the last time, I changed this to red because we wanna notice a pattern with the figures here. So it was shape, 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 letter. Now we have two shapes in a row, shape, shape. So start paying attention to that pattern. It's four shapes and then a letter. The pattern here for is it symmetrical? Yes, yes, no. Yes, yes, no. And now we have our first yes for the next uh, re repetition of the pattern. Okay, let's go to the days in school. We point to this grid and say 100 since it's all filled in. Then we're going to keep counting up by tens. 110, 120, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134. Now I have to put another blue X. After 134, the next number is 135. Now I think I could hear some of you telling me, some of my students saying, Miss Ferreira, that's our fifth one. Well, what do we do with our fifth one? Let's say one, two, three, four, five. We have to cross them off because we have a group of five there. Okay, I'm going to go to our chart here and I have to add another one. I'm going to change this to green because all of our ones are in green. And you can tell your parents what number I have to erase. The blue for the hundreds, the red for the tens, or the green for the ones, and what I'm going to change it to. Okay, if you told your parents I have to erase the four and change it, you are correct. We still have one group of 100, so that one for the hundred stays. We still have three groups of 10, so that three stays the same but we do not have four ones left over. So I'm going to erase that four. We just added one today. So I'm changing that four now to a five. I'm gonna write a math problem. You notice I erased all of our problems from before because we ran out of room. So let me change this to black, like we're using a pencil here. I'm gonna write the number 100 to represent that group of 100. 100 plus, since I have three groups of 10, I'm gonna count them, 10, 20, 30. So I'm gonna write 100 plus 30, and then we have to write plus the ones left over, one, two, three, four, five. So 100 plus 30 plus five equals, 130, oh, that's a sloppy three, sorry guys, five. Okay, please kiss your brains and try to predict tomorrow's because what I did last time, I split that 100 in half. I made a doubles problem with it. So see if you remember and we can uh, get a prediction for tomorrow's math equation that we create. Okay, I'm going to go to our collection over here of popsicle sticks. Let me grab my popsicle sticks here. Sorry, guys, they're a little out of reach. This was last week's collection. Week one, we had a total of 13 popsicle sticks. So I put them, I had the bundle of 10 plus the three left over. I put them in a baggie for week one. And I have my baggie already ready for week two. Yesterday we collected, we spun and we collected four popsicle sticks. So I have the four in here. Let me grab my box of popsicle sticks here and we're gonna give it a spin to see how many we're going to collect today. Let's see here, another four. Okay, so we have, I'm gonna just take one for now and let's count how many there are so far. One, two, three, four, five. Remember boys and girls, when we're doing tally marks, the fifth one goes across. So here's the first popsicle stick that I'm adding today. One, and remember we spun a four, so I have to get four. There's one, two, three, 
four. Now when we count these, we don't have to count one at a time starting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't need to do that. That takes a little too long. That's why we organize them like this. The fifth one goes across so we can recognize it easily. We can point to that group and say five. And then we keep counting up six, seven, eight. So, so far this week we have eight. Let me take the four out that I spun today. One, two, three, four. Now remember parents, you can use popsicle sticks at home. You can use pencils. You can use paper clips, Q-tips, anything hands on will make it a lot easier. And if you have something like popsicle sticks or Q-tips, you can practice laying them on the table and putting that fifth one going across. That way your children get familiar with using tally marks. Okay, let me just show you real quick. Uh, last time yesterday, we had the letter E that we had to add to here. Since we did the calendar today, we had another shape. So since it's not a letter, we do not need to add anything over here. We don't have another letter to add. So we have to keep on going through the calendar until we come across the next letter. Then we can add it to there. Okay, let me go back to the calendar for you because I like to show you the next day's card. That way you can cut out your paper figure and start folding it to see if it's symmetrical and also how many ways you can fold it to get equal parts. So tomorrow will be, since today's Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. April the 8th, 2020. So I'm gonna flip this card over and you will see a shape here. I have mine already cut out for you. So feel free today to fold it, draw on it, cut it up, see if it's symmetrical, and also see how many ways you can fold it and get equal parts. If it can be in exactly two equal parts or if it's gonna be at least four equal parts, or maybe you can't fold it into any equal parts. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day. Tomorrow we'll be back for another number corner to go over the eighth and to go over that shape. And I'll even give you a sneak peek of Thursdays. See you tomorrow. Rock on. Bye.